Guys, before we get into today's video about the NVIDIA Shield, GE Force Now streaming Steam games, I wanted to tell you about a deal for the NVIDIA Shield. On Prime Day, which is July 16th on Amazon, if you're a Prime member, you're gonna be able to get the NVIDIA Shield with uh, Media Remote for $139. That is $40 off the regular price. Or from July 15th through July 21st, you can get an NVIDIA Shield with Game Controller and Remote for $179. That is $20 off the regular price. And that deals on Amazon, Fry's, Best Buy, all kinds of different locations that sell the NVIDIA Shield. So check those out. Regardless, I'll link them down below. Enjoy the video. What is going on, guys? Greggles TV. I actually built my channel in the beginning anyway with videos on the NVIDIA Shield. And they just pushed out a new update recently. And one of the updates within there is an update to GE Force Now, which allows you to stream PC games. Uh, it used to be from their servers uh, to your uh, NVIDIA Shield. And you still do that, but now you stream your Steam library. A lot of the games in Steam, at least the popular ones, are able to uh, stream from that service to your NVIDIA Shield. So you don't have to use a high powered PC and it's freaking amazing. And the library is so much better than it was previously. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you a few games here. Uh, this some of the most popular ones. So again, let's get right into it. Now actually, before we jump into the game, I just wanted to run through this uh, NVIDIA games list for the GE Force. Now, if you go in here, um, there's tons of high quality games. Like if you just look at the most popular, there's Fortnite, Shadow Legends, Overwatch, Doom 3, and some of these games are going to be free. Some you will have to pay for if it's in Steam, you got to pay for it. Uh, and then otherwise, some of the games um, stream from Uplay, or I think it was Battle.net as well. So there's a bunch of services in here that you can uh, get your games through, and it's freaking amazing. But first one, let's check out Fortnite. It's the most popular game in the world right now. And uh, it's, what this is doing literally is streaming it from an NVIDIA uh, computer, NVIDIA server, and it's sending it to me. And it's, it's sending it to me, and I can stream it in up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, if my internet quality is good enough. And uh, so keep that in mind. You might want to have it wired into your NVIDIA shield. I'm actually on Wi-Fi. So if you see any lag or stutter, it's because I'm a little bit far away from my main router. I have a uh, mesh router set up here, and this is not the main router it's set up in. And let's go to launch. Actually, so what you got to do, one of the things is you have to turn on the virtual mouse. So basically, you just hit that power, the, the start button in the middle there to get this going. And you see a virtual mouse, and you just use the right joystick and then hit A to launch it. And it's pretty quick. It takes a, a few minutes in here to load up the game completely. Um, but it's so amazing to be able to stream Fortnite, and the quality is really good, and the frame rates are really good. It's Seriously, it's amazing. Another cool thing is if you have multiple shields, I'm just talking while this is running um, here. Uh, one of the cool things about having this is if you have multiple shields is once you sign into your NVIDIA account, uh, your GeForce Now account on all the other devices, you just basically can stream all your games. You don't have to log into those games again because it just syncs it all up. So once you sign into to Steam and uh, Fortnite on one NVIDIA shield, it'll you know carry over to the other ones as well once you sync that up to the... Uh, NVIDIA Shield server. Okay, so the game is loading up. We're in the lobby here. And I can, you can play around just like you would on any other. There's really no difference to this. You're just streaming it. You're not, it's not physically on your console. You're streaming it. So as long as you have a good internet connection, the game should play really, really well. All right, let's choose our... Ooh. And I'm not a... I'm not a really amazing at this game, so... <laughs> If I play bad, it's me. It's not the game. It's not the NVIDIA Shield. But if you play this on the console version, all the buttons are the same. Because the layout, more or less, on the NVIDIA Shield uh, controller is the same as the Xbox. Come on, let's go down, let's go down. Oh, here we go. Oh. What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? Some bullets. Now I need a gun. Oh, look at this. A little treasure. A little treasure action. Ooh. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, baby. Do I have this? No, I don't. Alright. 
I still need a gun, it looks like. Oh, here we go. All right. Nope. Oh, those are my dance moves. And you can see the frame rate in the top right of this game. Um, that's what the NVIDIA Shield's playing it at. 120, 130, or at least the server's playing it at. I'm only, the most I'll be ever doing is 60 frames per second at 1080p. If my internet connection's good enough. Oh, wait. Let's go. I'm going the wrong way. Let's check out the map. All right, let's check out the map. Oh, I'm fairly close. Uh, bedroom where I have NVIDIA show close to the router and that plays really good. Um, this is based off the mesh network so it's kind of like the speeds are slowed down, it's going through walls and doors and it's just not, I can tell the quality is not as good as it, is, as it plays on my um, my bedroom one but in my office, I mean it's, this is definitely playable. It's not, you can see it's not um, really stuttering out. It had a little glitch for a second back there and it did right there as well but otherwise as long as your internet's good, um, you're going to have no problem at all, especially if it's plugged in. The NVIDIA Shield's plugged in via Ethernet. You should have absolutely no problem at all. So now I'm in the storm. It's funny. I, I'm so used to playing PUBG, and this map always seems a little bit small to me, but I'm not seeing anybody, so maybe it is bigger than I think it is when I play this. I'm not going to lie, though, when I was just playing this a second ago, I died. <laughs> and, and, and I died real easy. I died falling down the cliff. So I'm like, let me start that over. And this game's free. So if you have an NVIDIA Shield and a decent internet connection, you can download this game absolutely free and play it. You don't need to have a high-powered PC or anything. That's what I love about this. And plus, it's, it's just it's just so accessible to be able to play those Steam games on your TV and not have to wait for it to download um, and just stream it. It's perfect. It's awesome. Well, who's he shooting? What is going on there? I don't see anybody. Nine left. That includes... Me and my teammate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's shooting? Oh, that guy. There's a guy up there. Where's that big boy gun? Oh, damn! Is this guy going to help me or what? Is he going to help me out? We lost. But that's that's um, Fortnite. Now let's try PUBG. This is my favorite game currently, PUBG is. I played on the Xbox One. And um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on that, that's in here that we don't have uh, on the Xbox One. Sandhook, Hawk, we don't have that currently. Uh, let me hit start to get my mouse in here. Um, so you can play some different game modes on here, such as uh, Mini Royale, which don't, I don't have that, or Battle Royale, keep them both going on here. You can also do Squad, Solo Duo, or, or One Man Squad. Um, I'll just go Solo here. Uh, and then you can play Third Person or First Person. You got the flag in the back, telling you about the Mercedes-Benz Arena Berlin, July 25th through the 29th. Let's check out this map. And I'm not used to this map because we don't have this map on Xbox One. But I'm just going to jump over here. But the frame rates are excellent on this game. runs pretty laggy, even on the Xbox One X. But on here, I played it a couple of times, a few times. And it's so much smoother. It's so much better. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, it makes me dream of the day that hopefully they can do this to the uh, Xbox One X version. But let's get landed in here. Start looking for some weapons. 
just the, the parachute alone. And when you do this on the Xbox One X, is so much lag and, and, and just crappiness. So let's get landed here. Oh, there's another guy here. This, <laughs> I'll probably die fairly quick. Get that, get that, get that, get that ump. I don't know where he went though. Burst, alright, here we go, auto. Where is he? I don't think he has a gun. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. A little sneaky guy, huh? All right, let's get into a car here, take off. Try to find some trouble. And basically the premise of these two games are just you last man standing, you just kill them. If you're not used to PUBG or um, Fortnite, it's basically you just, you're either working a squad or a team or a duo or whatever or by yourself and you're just trying to kill everybody on the map to win. And that's all it is, really, to it. Yeah, this is a cool-looking map here. All right. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, my God, I keep running into these damn trees. Come on. I'm about to destroy this car. Whoops. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, it gives you an idea of what PUBG is all about and Fortnite. And um, yeah, let's basically it's that's how the games go. The other cool thing about these games, so let me hit the start button and go back in here, is that um, they have cloud saves. So if you've played this on the PC in the past, It'll actually remember that you've played it. So, for instance, I played Stardew Valley a little bit on my PC, I don't know, two years ago. And it has that cloud save from Steam saved on here. So, it loaded up where I kind of left off. And I thought that was super cool. Only thing is, with this game, I couldn't... Um, it's, 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 maybe it's in the settings, maybe it's not. And I don't have a keyboard and a mouse hooked up to it. It seems like it only works with the keyboard and mouse, not with the controller currently. Um, that was one thing that was kind of awkward. I couldn't get the game rolling, but I would, did it, it did uh, give me the option to load up my cloud saved game. So it, stuff like that makes this a really cool service. It's not perfect, um, but it's pretty badass, and that's why I really, really like it. So um, check it out, guys, and don't forget, um, NVIDIA has an amazing deal right now on NVIDIA Shields that you can check out like I talked out about in the beginning, so check those out. Buy one if you don't have one, buy a second one. I have three of these, and I love them on. I have them all on my TV. They're good media centers and gaming uh, consoles. They're freaking awesome. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road. Peace.